This is the place I grew up in. And I've always believed there's no place like home. And it's the one place with the people in it that I always look forward to coming back to. My name is Matt Burton and this is my WA. I always had the base of the National Park, 700 metres from mum and dad's doorstep and it wasn't until I started running when I was trying for some city surfs for a bit of fun through footy that I'd go up into the National Park and at the time I didn't think too much of it but you know I've now ran tens of thousands of k's through the National Park and, and spent so much time in there and probably never looked around you know to really see what everyone comes up here on the weekends for because it was so close to home um, you know you even thinking back through school the boys I had a few mates that lived probably three or four k up the trail um, we sort of shoot up the trail on the bikes just between homes on, on weekends and even after school and you take the, the heritage trail for granted. As harsh as it is out here and as it, it's the truthful side of how you're feeling and how I'm moving, I get a good, good gauge of my fitness now when I'm running up here, so it's time. Photos you see mum and dad have, we're playing cricket in the backyard from when I could hold a bat because dad was, was cricket obsessed and you know, I thought I was gonna go on and play for Australia and then it wasn't until I left school. Um, I was heavily involved in fitness, got obsessed with the gym. And then a friend for my 21st birthday bought me an entry to a triathlon. And I just remember finishing that race and it's something I'll always credit to why I went on with it, but I, I really believe triathletes and triathlon is, is a real test of fitness because there's nowhere to hide. Um, you know, I caught up, I remember years later, I was sitting with this, this guy. He was like, why do you do it? What draws you back into to triathlon? Why are you still here doing it? And it sort of came about, it was just the challenge. And it come back to that first one. It was the one thing in sport that had challenged me and my beliefs in what sport was and what fitness was. And, you know, it's only taken 13 years for mum, dad, and everyone else to believe in that as well. But for mum and dad, and my extended family on, on mum's side, Bustledon, was always the destination through January. Um, back then, there wasn't the, the Forest Highway and the, the freeway running as, as well as it does now, but it used to be sort of a three to three and a half hour trip down to Bustledon, felt like a day. For as long as I remember, we were holidaying in Bustledon. I think the only time mum and dad missed Bustledon in January in the 33 years I've been alive is the year that I was born because um, I was born in January. It's funny to think that Bustledon, not only has it been a home away from home, but now it's this place which I get nervous every time I drive into town. Um, even when we head down just for a weekend or go to a friend's wedding, I always feel this, uh, it's, it's quite an odd feeling when I, you drive into town or even see the pier. Um, I guess I get nervous to what's next, because for me, in all the races in the world now, winning at home would be number one. You know, I've been fortunate to win the, the 70.3 there a few times and some, some shorter distance races, but that race in December is is the one. It's been third three years ago, second a couple of years ago, and you know, surely the next step is to, to win the race, but still got to make it happen, and who knows? I'll never forget when I first told mum and dad that, you know, I'm going to do an Ironman and do a triathlon. So we've grown up in the outer suburbs of Perth, so we're 45 minutes drive from the beach and no one around the area had done triathlon. It probably took mum and dad until the second trip to Hawaii. So I, I managed to, to race the Ironman World Championships in Hawaii after a year in the sport and then uh, went back as an, an age grouper for a couple of years following. And, you know, I, I guess I had some success there as an age grouper, but it was more so that mum and dad actually s witnessed the effort gone into the result that they started to think, gee, when I took a pro license in 2013, it wasn't a joke anymore and I wasn't uh, I wasn't just playing around with something as a hobby. You know, I spoke to my wife leading to uh, Boston and Ironman in 2018 and we had a chat and I you know, come off a, a bit of a spell and I said, look, if I can't contest this race and, and make my way to the pointy end of the, the field, I'll give it up. It was a deal with that, I guess we'd, we'd struck and she'd been so supportive for so long, but there's only so much you can do something from a passion point of view when there's, there's been no reward for effort. You do have to start to think like, maybe this isn't the smartest option long-term. 
Um, but yeah, that year I went 807 behind you know, Cam Worth and Terenzo, and I was an unknown really, yet I'd been doing the sport for 10 years. And um, yeah, I remember crossing the line and she was like, oh, well, looks like you'll be doing it for a little bit longer. And for all the effort you put in, the 40 hour weeks, which, you know, I love, I love the training. That's why, that's the passion, that's the triathlon obsession, um, that they're worth it. That every now and again, you have that day or those days or those times where, you know, you, the training is, is seen by others. Because otherwise, the only people that see it are the people you live with. I've been in triathlon 13 years and been with Kim for 13 and a half years. Um, we've been married for almost a year now. Um, but with Kim, I also got an extremely supportive family unit that came with her, I guess. Um, you know, her dad was a, an ex-professional athlete, so he understands the processes that I need to go through. And then her mum just stepped in as a, another mother slash Swanier almost. She's travelled to more races than anybody um, else. Uh, she comes to races when I don't even know she's coming to races locally. You know that the, the amount of support I've had from from her and from Kim and Mum and Dad is why I'm still here. Really, I look forward to where I can take triathlon. I think the Europeans have been quite dominant for a while, but people are looking for an Aussie hero. Um, you know they've had the Captain America over the years but it's you know it's time to, to keep working to keep working at it you've got to be persistent in something for long enough to then have success so you know we'll see where these next few years go but it'll be nice to, to share it with a, a little boy or girl as well um, hopefully they get to be uh, to be proud and you know make the family proud as well to where I can take triathlon.